Hi, I am going to be reading through some poems. Um, I'm going to say the name and the author and then just go into it and I will have the names listed right at the bottom. And I will also be linking the website that I found these poems at that were great access points. Each one comes with a mini essay from someone talking about what they think the poem means. So I definitely would check it out. Description will be, it, the link will be in the description below. All right, first one. We Real Cool by Gwendolyn Brooks. The pool players, seven at the golden shovel. We real cool. We left school. We lurk late. We strike straight. We sing sin. We thin gin. We jazz June. We die soon. That was by Gwendolyn Brooks. My next one is going to be by Lucille Clifton, and it's called Won't You Celebrate With Me. <clears throat> Won't you celebrate with me what I have shaped into a kind of life? I had no model. Born in Babylon, both non-white and woman, what did I see to be except myself? I made it up. Here on this bridge between star shine and clay, my one hand holding tight, my other hand, come celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill me and has failed. That is by Lucille Clifton. I just discovered her yesterday. The next one I'm going to be doing is by Michael S. Harford and it's called American History. Those four black girls blown up in that Alabama church remind me of 500 middle passage blacks in a net underwater in Charleston Harbor so red coats couldn't find them. Can't find what you can't see, can you? That's by Michael S. Harper. Hopefully none of these are bringing you too strong of emotion. My goal was to find poems by black authors, by black poets. And I immediately went to the ones that we all know and love, but I found some new ones that I love and I feel like they're very appropriate for right now. So this is me helping myself calm down and just process everything that's happening in our country right now. And I hope it does the same for you. Also, hopefully my voice is not annoying. So the next one I'm going to do is by Terrence Hay Hayes. Ooh, I missed the S. Terrence Hayes. And it is called, We Should Make a Documentary About Spades. Please, I'm sorry if I look like I'm not looking directly. I'm reading it off of a screen. Do not have these memorized. And here is all we'll need. A card deck, quartets of sun people, of the sort found in black college dormitories, some vintage, music, indiscriminate spirits, fried chicken, some paper, a writing utensil, and a bondless Saturday. We should explore the origins of a derogatory word like spade, as well as the word for the feeling alone in polite company. And also the implications of calling someone who is not your brother or sister, brother or sister. So little is known of our past, we can imagine damn near anything. When I say maybe slaves held spades, tournaments on the anti-cruise ships bound for the colonies, you say when our ancestors were cooped on those ships, they were not yet slaves. Our groundbreaking film should begin with a low-lit den in the deep south and the deep-fried voice of somebody's grandmother holding smoke in her mouth. And she says... Two of diamonds trumps the two of spades in my house. At some point, someone should tell the story where Jesus and the devil are spades partners traveling the juke joints of the 1930s. We could interview my Uncle Junior and definitely your skinny cousin Mary and any black man sitting at a card table wearing shades. Who do you suppose will win if Booker T and MLK were matched against D. Du Bois? and Malcolm X in a game of spades. You say, don't talk across the table. Pay attention to the suits being played. 
The object of the game is to communicate invisibly with your teammate. I should concentrate. Do you suppose we are here because we are lonely in some acute, disafford way? This should be explored in our film about spades. Because it is one of the ways I am still learning what it is to be black. Tonight, I am ready to master spades. Four players bid a number of books. Each team adds the bids of the two partners, and the total is the number of books that the team must try to win. Is that not right? This is a game that tests the boundary between mathematics and magic, if you ask me. A bid must be intuitive, like the itchiness of your upper lip before you sip strange whiskey. My mother did not drink, which is how I knew something was wrong with her, but she held a dry spot at the table when couples came to play. It's a scene from my history, but this probably should not be mentioned in our documentary about spades. Renegade is akin to the word for shame. You feel watching someone else's humiliation? Slapping a card down must be as dramatic as hitting the face of a drum with your palm, not facing, not sorry, not hitting the face of a drum with a drumstick. You say there may be the sort of outrage induced by liquor, trash talk, and poor strategy, but it will fade the way a watermark left on the table by a cold glass fades. I suspect winning this sort of game makes you feel godly. I'm good and ready for whoever we're playing against tonight. I am trying to imagine our enemy. I know you are not my enemy. You say there are no enemies in spades. Spades is a game our enemies do not play. And that is by Terrence Hayes. I say that was very impactful and very long. I was reading through that last night and my cat just looked at me. I think it impacted her. I hope it did. So the last one I'm going to do is by Langston Hughes. Let America be America again. And I'm going to try my hardest not to mess up the title and the words of that because it's very close to something else, but it's not that. <clears throat> Let America be America again. Let it be the dream it used to be. Let it be the pioneer of the plane seeking a home where he himself is free. America never was America to me. Let America be the dream the dreamers dreamed. Let it be that great strong land of love where never kings connived nor torrents schemed, tyrants schemed. That any man be crushed by one above. It never was America to me. Oh, let my land be a land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic wreath, but opportunity is real and life is free. Equality is in the air we breathe. There's never been equality for me, nor freedom in this homeland of the free. Say, who are you that mumbles in the dark? And who are you that draws your veil across the stars? I am the poor white, fooled and pushed apart. I am the Negro bearing slavery scars. I am the red man driven from the land. I am the immigrant clutching the hope I seek and finding only the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog mighty crush the weak. I am the young man full of strength and hope, tangled in that ancient endless chain of profit, power, gain, of grab the land, of grab the gold, of grab the ways of satisfying need, of work the men, of take the pay of owning everything for one's own greed. I am the farmer, bondsman to the soil. I am the worker sold to the machine. I am the Negro, servant to you all. I am the man, humble, hungry, mean, hungry yet today despite the dream, beating yet today, oh pioneers. I am the man who never got ahead the poorest worker bartered through the years. Yet I'm the one who dreamt our basic dream in the old world while still a surf of kings who dreamt a dream so strong, so brave, so true that even yet is mighty daring sings 
and every brick and stone and every furrow turn that made America the land it has become. Oh, I am the man who sailed those early seas in search of what I meant to be my home. For I'm the one who loved dark Ireland's shore and Poland's plain and England's grassy lea and torn from black Africa's strain, I came to build a homeland of the free. The free? Who said the free? Not me. Surely not me. The millions of relief today? The millions shot down when we strike? The millions who have nothing for our pay? For all the dreams we dreamed, and all the songs we've sung, and all the hopes we've held, and all the flags we've hung, the millions who have nothing for our pay, except the dream that's almost dead today? Oh, let America be America again. The land that never has been yet, and yet must be. The land where every man is free. The land that's mine. The poor man's, Indian's, Negro's, me. Who made America? Whose sweat and blood? Whose faith and pain? Whose hand at the foundry? Whose plow in the rain must bring back our mighty dream again? Sure, call me any ugly name you choose. The still of freedom does not stain. From those who like, sorry, for those who live like leeches on the people's lives, we must take back our land again, America. Oh yes, I say it plain. America never was America to me. And yet I swear this oath, America will be. Out of the rack and ruin of our gangster death, the rape and rot of graft, the stealth and lies, we, the people, must redeem the land, the mines, the plants, the rivers, the mountains and the endless plain, all, all the stretch of this great green state, and make America again. Now that was by Langston Hughes. I hope these poems helped you guys out. It definitely helped me out. It made me remember my times in high school when I used to be in English and I used to go all the little poetry slams we had. It definitely helped you purvey how you're feeling. Purvey, I don't even know if that's a word. I think I might have just made it up. But I do hope this helps you. Um, this might be something I might do again. There's a lot more poets I could have definitely did, but I did not want to keep going and going and going. But thank you for listening. Um, sorry, I mumbled up a couple of words. I did not practice this. This was an idea I came up with on Sunday night, and it's now Tuesday, and I'm happy I did this. It definitely makes me feel a lot better just with handling everything. Um, I've also put down some links to some organizations that you can donate, every little helps. Black lives do matter. And anyone that says otherwise, don't come to my page. You do not need to be here with that. We do not want that. We want to have a peaceful place here, but also it's hard when you look like me and you look like others. And every day you walk out of your door wondering, is today going to be the day? That's a scary thought that no one should ever have. But we do in 2020. So I've linked down some organizations, some GoFundMes, anything I can find and verify that is 100% going to help the cause and help anyone who's lost someone and helping for funerals and things like that. So every little helps. And if you find some more organizations, please put them in the comments below. They would be very helpful. And I hope you guys have a good day and a good week. And stay strong, guys. Mm -hmm.